Welcome back to my channel and another beer review. Mazama Brewing out of Corvallis, Oregon. Oktoberfest. Very simple name. Mazama Brewing has been around since about 2013. This beer came in a can. I did not see a bottled version of it. Here's what the can looks like. So I'm guessing that's German fly colors in the background. I don't know. Two beers and just the name of the brewery and the style. Unfortunately, their website has always been lacking. There is hardly any detail on it. There's really much of nothing. The can doesn't say anything at all either, except for the location of the brewery. It appears that this beer came out approximately 2016. Their beer quality is really good. Out of all the ones I've had, about half of them I really like. They did a really good job. I'm sure this is seasonal beer. This cost me two bucks for the can. The ingredients or even hints of the malt and hops are not in the can or the website. Most Oktoberfests have a very malty profile. A lot of Munich or uh, Vienna, Pale, some Pilsner. Hops tend to be noble hops, you know, like a German variety, Hollertower, Tettinger. But they can put saws in there, they can put really anything. I expect this to be fairly malty, maybe a little bit chewy medium to full body very little hop character to it possibly a little bit of hop aroma though this is a lager it says so around the side here typically that gives a clean crisp and bright uh, flavor profile this is 6.0 percent alcohol i have no idea what the ibus are it shouldn't be high at all amberish copper color they should be pretty malty they should not be hoppy at all maybe a little bread or biscuit um, i do anticipate sweetness out of them outside that it's just a little difficult to say what you know, if they maybe have some fruity aromas flavors i've only had a couple of them that were a little bit uh, hoppy i don't know why they do it that way because that's how an octoberfest is known for It's a very strong amber copper. This is near on near on the lower end of the color palette for an Oktoberfest. Uh, my guess is they probably use some crystal caramel malt to get this color. Very clear appearance. I'm assuming they probably use some kettle finings in it to, keep, to clear it up. And then uh, a good cold crashing. Paper thin head. It was a little thicker than that. It's died down. It's lightly carbonated. You can't really see it there, but there's just a handful of bubbles coming up. Look at that beautiful color. I mean, that is just so nice. I get light, sweet caramel, light maltiness from Munich or Vienna. Maybe just a touch of cocoa, which is odd. I shouldn't be getting that. The aromas are very faint. I get no fruit or floral. Aromas are incredibly soft, though. I'm really having to draw them in. It opens up and paints the roof of my mouth. About 90% is up there. Light sweet. Some caramel candy notes to it, but they're light. The maltiness is very present, but not overpowering. This tastes medium body. Sweetness and the caramel is painting the middle roof of my mouth. The maltiness is pretty light, so I'm suspecting that they used Vienna malt. The candy sweet is dying down a little bit, but it's still there. Hangs around a little bit and just slowly fades away. Very light malty profile. It's not malt forward, caramel sweet forward, but it's not overly sweet at all, which surprised me because Oktoberfest is known to be malty. This one's really not so much there. This is not hoppy or bitter at all. No spiciness, no bread, dough cracker flavors. I don't get anything citrusy, floral, or fruity out of it. No toffee toasted or roasted. All the flavors are very soft on the palate. With lager, I expect crisp, clean, and bright. It's clean. It's not crisp. It's not bright. At this point, I'm not getting any new flavors. It's it's pretty simple. The mouthfeel is not thin and watery. It's not complex, chewy. If you're looking for a whole array of flavors, this is not your beer. But what is there's nice, well done. It has a good, clean profile. It's solid and somewhat well-rounded, but well done. I mean, it seems to fit the 
Oktoberfest profile pretty well. Immediately coats her up my mouth again, about 90% up there. Sweetness, caramel, immediately followed by the maltiness. I'm still not noticing any bread, biscuit, cracker, no citrus tanginess. It still does taste medium body. It's still not bitter, no hoppiness to it. Once again, after it coats my mouth and brushes back and forth over and over, there's some residual sweetness, but not much. It's all about that malty, sweet caramel. All the flavors of this beer are pretty light. Overall, it tastes the same out of the can as it does the glass. Out of all the beers that I've had, Never had an off flavor. I have my usual list. I'm just getting tired of going over every video. There's no metallic from the can, no cleanliness problems, no fermentation problems. I don't taste anything that should not be there. Would I buy this again? I'd buy the occasional can of it, sure. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. It seems pretty true to the style overall. Most of them I've had are malt forward and this one's not. I think it's just slightly below average. I wish it was more on the malty side. The sweetness is okay, but I don't really think of Oktoberfest that way. They didn't do a bad job. They did fine. It has good flavor to it. Mazama Brewing, Corvallis, Oregon, Oktoberfest, Lager. If you have any comments, feedback about this beer or any other beer, just want to talk beer in general, uh, let me hear them. That's all for this review, folks. Finish off my Oktoberfest. Prost! Just like rose-colored glasses, except not rose-colored. Lice of all the malty hops. I mean, ah, malts are known to be, you know, have that. Okay, let me try this again, because I keep saying malts. Uh,